That's right. Our minds are not meant for the endless storage of facts and figures, especially in a world where we can capture all of that information externally via different apps and good old fashioned pen and paper. David Allen, the renowned author of his book GTD or Getting Things Done, mentioned that when it comes to work and life management, we should empty our minds, capture it all, and then start doing the tasks that matter most to us instead of just thinking about them. Check out his book Getting Things Done, which has sold over 2 million copies all around the globe and is considered as the Bible of productivity. And now the Drafts app. Every time you open the app, you get a blank canvas for you to toss in all your text. That can be anything. Whether it's an idea for a novel you've been itching to write, details for an upcoming appointment, a journal entry, or even a new friend's phone number. So without any further ado, let's check out Drafts. Hello everyone, my name is Anshul Kumar and I'm here to share an overview of one of my favorite applications for Mac, iPad and iPhone, Drafts. Drafts is a special kind of utility that helps you deal with text lightning quick. Drafts is for text and it's spectacular at it. There are two things you need to do when you're working with text on your iPhone and iPad. The first thing you need to do is to capture it. You need to get the text into the iPhone or iPad as quickly as possible and Drafts does that for you. When you open Drafts, the blinking cursor is right there. All you have to do is to start typing or dictating into your application. And next thing you want to do, once you have text in your iPhone or iPad, is you want to process it. Maybe you want to post it to Twitter or create an email or save it to Dropbox. Drafts can do all those things with just a few steps. If you are carrying around a notebook with you every day to capture things quickly, you can get rid of it because Drafts will solve the problem for you. Drafts work on the iPhone, iPad, Mac, as well as Apple Watch and does an amazing job of letting you quickly capture and process your text. So let's take a look at the application. All right, let's go from the theoretical to the practical. I've got drafts right here on my iPhone. I'm going to tap on it and you can see that as soon as I open it, I've got this blinking cursor and that's the magic of drafts. You can immediately start capturing text. When you open it, there are no buttons to push. There are no files to open. Just start going. I've written this text down now. Let me do something with it. And I will tap on the action button and then tap on the messages button and then will open up Apple messages. It's already pasted the text from my draft into the message body. And all I need to do now is to type in a recipient and press send. And that's an example of quickly capture text and then act upon it. So let's see some more examples. I'm back in drafts this time and let's do an email. So I'm going to create a new one, but I'm going to do it via dictation. If you look at the top of the custom keyboards, there's the button to create a new draft via dictation. It's this one right here. I'll go ahead and tap it and get started. Confirming lunch on Wednesday at 11.30 a.m. Period. New paragraph. Hi, Greg, comma, new paragraph. This email confirms we are still good for lunch on Wednesday at 11.30 a.m. at the California Caps Pizza Caps Kitchen, period. See you there, period. New paragraph. Yo, pal, comma, new line, David. So now you can see it created that with drafts using the built-in dictation tools in drafts. Drafts is very good at using Siri through some very clever programming. It gets past the usual Siri timer deadline. So as a result, it's a great way to get text on your iPhone. I've created the text for the email. So let me go ahead and make the email. So I'll slide from the right and I will tap on the mail button. And now created a new email, a message for me. One of the smart things that drafts will do 
is that it will take the first paragraph and make it a subject line. And everything after that makes it a body, the way email gets written and your subject line gets filled in very easily. I really like creating emails on drafts because when you open your email application, you always get diverted by your inbox. There's always something in there that needs your attention with drafts. You can just open it, dictate as many emails as you need to write and get them sent without getting caught up in your email application. Well, there's more you can do with drafts. I'm going to make a new draft by hitting the plus sign and I'm going to create a list to be put in reminders. Let's say I'm on my way to the market. And since I'm going to be putting these reminders, as I separated them by carriage returns, it's easy. One is going to be a separate entry in reminders. All I have to do is to tap on the button, then tap a list in reminders. And now I could go into my reminders and you'll see there, my list is right here. Like I said at the beginning, drafts is all about quick capture and action. I like to think about this app as a little notebook in my pocket. Anytime I want, I can open my iPhone, type in some text or dictate some text and make something happen with it, all within drafts. Let's take a look at drafts on the iPad. Here I'm on the iPad version of drafts and you can see I've written some text in here that I want to send as a tweet. Just like sending email with drafts has advantages, so does writing tweets. You can take your time, get them written properly, and you can send them right from the application, which allows you to avoid getting lost in the stream of Twitter. To make this work, I'm just going to slide over and then tap on the tweet action. And if I tap the run button right there, it sends the tweet out into the world. All right. I'm back over in drafts on my iPad and this time I have a lot more text you can do long form writing in drafts if you want. And I've been writing an article for my website here in drafts, but I want to send it now over to Ulysses, which is the app where I can store and process text. Before I post it to the internet to do that in drafts, all I have to do is to tap the action button and then tap the share button and then scroll over and tap on Ulysses. And once I do that, it gives me the options of where to put it in new Ulysses. I'm going to put it in my inbox as it's indicated that I'll tap send and it's done. So if I go over to Ulysses now, I take a look at my inbox and there it is. I'm back in drafts and it's worth taking a minute to look at the drafts list. That's this button in the upper left corner. Just tap on that and you will get a list of all the drafts you'll be working on. You can tap on any one of them to go back to the draft. I'm going to go back to this article now. Let's say that instead of saving it as a text to Ulysses, I want to save it as a text file to Dropbox. I could do that too. I'm going to tap on the sharing button, then save to Dropbox. And just like that, I'm done. If I go over to Dropbox, you'll see that the file is right there. So finally, one of the most frequent things you are going to do with your iPhone or your iPad is capture some text and do something with it. And that's what Drafts does it. It allows you to quickly capture text and process it in the most effective manner. Drafts is free download, so you've got nothing to lose. Go install it on your phone today and get more productive. Thank you all so much for watching. Let us know how you feel about Drafts. Leave your comments in the description section below. And finally, a huge shout out to my patron supporters that help make videos like this possible. If you like the video, make sure you press that like button, hit subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys next Thursday.